morning, Monday morning, back at work. Another cold one. Next in, an F10 series Alpina. Beast of a car. Big power output for a diesel. Very bold tires. Nice bit of kit. It's arrived filthy. You can see how cold it is. First thing the chap said is apologies, the car is so dirty. That's like going for a haircut and saying apologies, my hair's so long. That's what it's here for. So the job spec on this one, it's a four day, two stage minor paint correction detail, full interior treatments, wheels coming off the car, be coated inside and out, CS black paint protection. It's a motorway mile muncher and spends a lot of time at airport. So the more protection in place, the better. of day one then so far steady progress but back in tomorrow to hopefully catch up and crack on lunchtime on day two on the d5 alpina it's here for four days treatments job spec of the car we called in about three months ago for a quotation for to allow us to look over the paintwork to learn the customer's priorities what they want out of the job highlight any areas that might require more work the car actually lives it was a, it's a daily use vehicle, lives outdoors, and it spends lots of time parked up in airport car parks. A two-stage minor paint correction detail is giving the paintwork its lift, it's removing the light stretches and the marring and any swirls from the paintwork. And then we've got full interior wheel treatments to be coated inside and out for them to be easy to clean. As well as the wheels off treatments, we're going full interior with the CS Black paint protection upgrades with glass coating. <laughs> Day three, Wednesday on the Alpina. Cutting has been complete. This is the first stage of two to remove the paint defects, the movement, the abrasions, the paint swirls, the spider webs you'd see in the paintwork in the sun. It's a great color, similar to last week's X3 in space gray. This is Sophistico gray, a bit darker, uh, but it's a minor paint correction, so it's, it's not chasing perfection, but anything that's left on the body now, you really have to look for quite hard. Outside in the sun, in the normal light conditions, you'll do well to see it. Tomorrow, we'll see the finish of the refinement stage, the second stage, this will be hopefully done by lunchtime, early afternoon. And then we'll go on to the interior treatments to do the glass, to coat the wheels. These are quite a nice design, actually unique to Alpina, I believe. The valve for the air is in the center. It sits behind the center cap, a nice little touch. And then Friday, we'll see the paint protection in the form of G-Technic Crystal Serum, topped with C0V2 for the hydrophobic self-clean effect. Lovely car this, there's a lot of surface area, there's a lot of paint to polish. It's been quite resilient, it's been quite hardy to cut as well, so we've had to up the combination to dig out the defects. Nice car. Couple of mound drops, not done this for a while. Know what this one is. From our friends up in Elgin, Alan and the team. <laughs> okay, we have we have another t-shirt, charcoal grey, very nice. What's this? <laughs> Ooh, 
Mince pies. Not your average. Oh, man, it gets better. Two packs of Starburst. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Thanks, Alan. And next one. White detail. Oh. Ah. From Kai, Kamikaze Collection. Thank you, sir. Stance rim coat, wheel protection, and ISM coat pro. the paint protection process on the Alpina. Two stage minor paint correction, full interior treatments, leather protection yet to be done but the cleanse has been made. The rims, the wheels, they're good to go back and they've been coated inside and out with carbon collected platinum wheels. And now for the paintwork, the first hardy resilient base layer, g and Crystal Serum, the accredited only product. This adds an element of resilience and hardiness to the underlying base layer. So it's protecting against or helping to prevent marring and future swirls being induced to the finish. So we still need to obey to the safe wash technique, the correct chemicals, the correct kit and mindset. But this it just adds the extra brunt, which will be topped with C0 V2. This added for the anti-adhesion and the hydrophobic side of things. So very easy, clean, extra gloss and slickness to the finish. The next four hours is going to be paint protection. the channel or new to detailing itself uh you've heard me talking about two stage polishing cutting refining a minor correction and major correction i want to just sort of touch base and cover them uh, what they all are it really starts with a paint enhancement detail which is a single stage polish so a once over so a combination of pad polish combination of the polisher which is mild enough to be able to finish down itself so you don't need to then follow that with a secondary refining stage that is the refining stage it's boosting the clarity it's pulling the gloss it's just flattening the surface as nice as possible. So there is an element of correction done, so it's more suited for next to new cars, new cars next to new cars, or the Alpina now in 12 months, 15 months, 18 months time, whenever that chooses to come back, it'll have a full safe wash and decontamination. And hopefully if the owner does the correct maintenance, the correct wash technique with the correct chemicals, kit and mindset, and not sort of start to clamber over the car, that's really all it should need. Just to very sort of light marring, remove the surface haze or the sort of movement you see on the panels in the sunlight. It's quite a forgiving color for that, to be honest. On top of the paint enhancement, there is then the minor paint correction detail, which is a two-stage polish. So the second stage is the refining stage, but the first stage is the cutting stage. So you've got a cutting stage to remove some of the heavy defects, the light scratches, buffer trails, abrasion, areas of bad contact, hazy bits, a more aggressive compound, which then itself needs finishing off properly. So. If you're just left after the first initial cutting stage, I use a great example on episode eight on the vlog, which if you click up here somewhere, you'll be able to see. I explain the importance of the refining stage. If you left it just after the cutting stage, the finish would be better. It would be better than what it was. The defects would be removed, but at the same time, there's still a way to go. It's still hazy. So the second refining stage just lifts. It just finishes the whole job off. The minor paint correction is by far the most popular service I offer. The Alpina, that's been a two-stage minor correction. As I say now, going forward, if it's looked after properly, it shouldn't need that again. It might only just need a single stage just to refresh things. But the car itself, it's a daily use vehicle. It lives outside. In fact, the majority of its time is spent parked up in Stansted Airport. It didn't really want to be chasing perfection. So when we look at the major paint correction detail on the very top, that's when we are pushing for perfections on the paintwork. It's open time scales, it's a bigger budget, and we really are just sort of where safe to do so, chasing out every single last mark. The RS4 video I, I, I linked you to up here, that was a major correction, but still it was only 95%. There were areas where there were scars, there were wounds, there were bruises, let's say, which would only otherwise need 
to go to the paint shop for to be fixed. So we do as best we've been given, I suppose. Various forms of machine polishing, wet sanding if needs be to remove some of the localized, more deeper, deeper scratches. And the combination for a major correction it's, it's usually actually the same nowadays as what I'd go for for the minor paint correction details. The minor correction, you've got a cutting stage, a refining stage, done. Start the paint protection process. A major correction, we're measuring the paint with polish and we're measuring the paint with polish and we're measuring the paint with polish until we're at that point where we're happy with the defect removal or the, we're compromising the thin clear coat. So if the, if the clear coat, if the lacquer becomes a bit sort of, you know, we, want to step back a bit now then that's it we'll leave it there we won't compromise the rest of the clear coat for the sake of one rounded off scratch which is barely visible in these lights you might be able to see it outside but going forward for any package any car that goes through any package any contact is bad contact I stress about that all the time this car in fact when it first came in for a quote three and a half four months ago um the chat the car was filthy and the car was inside there were one or two bits i could see straight away but of course with the car being so dirty you're limited as to what you can find uh, and the owner was aware of a couple of scratches i think over the top of the bonnet so he goes over the bonnet the car's dirty and he starts rubbing up the paint trying to clear an area to show me the scratch that's underneath and it's like, okay stop so all you've done there now is that one scratch which i can see you've now surrounded that by thousands of smaller ones from you pushing the dirt and the grit and scratching the surface with your hand. Don't be tempted to rub, don't be tempted to brush dirt off the paint. Uh, the only contact really needs to be controlled in a controlled manner during the wash stage. Even to the extent of avoiding using the gloss pillars when you're closing the door, try and reach around, use the handles. Closing the boot lid, try not to wrap your hand around the top on the paintwork, use the interior handle, use the registration plate. Once a car has been done, anything new, would stand up like a sore thumb, but anything beforehand, anything new to the paint would sort of blend in to what's already there. If the car was a sapphire black BM, uh, Alpina, obviously a bit more obvious to see the damage. Anything new on the middle of the bonnet would just be there, it would be standalone, it would be shouting out, saying, hey, look at me. Whereas beforehand, it would just blend into the damage and the haze and the gray washed out finish that is already there in place. So with the base that's there covered, I will now move on to a quick walk around on the car. <laughs> clean cars for a living. This is my workhorse and very much that unfortunately. Yeah so that was hard work. The thing about an unprotected car is the dirt hangs, the dirt sticks. So before I started my car I've just done a customer's Bentley Continental, also silver but wearing various coatings and treatments. It was a doddle, it was a joy to wash. What I should have done was done this first, got the hard work out of the way, and then gone onto the Bentley. Uh, next up is a Range Rover Vogue, which is a shooting bus, as you will see. Also very dirty, but compared to my car, it's wearing the protection, it's wearing the systems and treatment. So I'm hoping it should be a breeze, unlike this. All right, so I've been and got the Range Rover, and it's a bit worse than I expected. As I say, this is a shooting truck. It goes backwards and forwards. <laughs> Uh, through fields, carrying blokes with guns and dogs in the back. There is signs of protection over the bonnet. We have some beading, albeit the finish is very dirty, so it's not true and tight. But the difference between this and my car is that it is protected and it should wash damn slightly easier than my own.
So about an hour into the, about 40 minutes into the job, yet to be actually contacted with a wash mitt. Started on the wheels, fussed the arches, and this is just after the pre-wash, so there's no contact been made at this time. Just the W4, G-Technic W4 citrus foam. You can see the vehicle is looking a lot better already. Probably looks clean on the camera. But if we get close, there are areas of stubborn, sticky bits which I've not been able to lift without the need of physical contact, but at least now, I know all the damaged material, everything that's going to be ingrained into the paint is off the paint. It's all on the floor, so now the two bucket wash, we're just removing the film and we can glide, safely glide the wash mat over without fear of inducing any scratches. Another 40 minutes or so later and the car is now washed and you can start to see the underlying protection starting to shine through. So it's had a hard few weeks. In that it's been suffocated by Farmer Giles's field but now it's washed off nice and tight easy clean protection in place is kamikaze ism coat and i forget now how long ago it was applied but i can look into that and let you know but very happy with that looking good after a nice refresh things are well and still a lot easier to wash than my own car even though this has been through a field backwards so quickly inside with the vogue now another thing the coating benefits for is easier drying as well as easier washing so you saw how much water was left stood on the vehicle outside all i've done is sheeted the water a flow of water like an open hose on a watering can without the sprinkle effect sheeted the water off this has now got a lot less water on the bonnet to pick up. A nice big fluffy microfiber towel. We'll dry the majority in one nice easy pass. So it's a quicker, more effective wash and very much easier and faster to dry. Mm -hmm. 